Hello, it is Miggy Minor, or something like that, or in other words, words. Hello, I'm Miggy Minor, and today we are going to play Minecraft in another language. So, items have weird names, it's Africans, or something like that, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, but I think they speak it in Africa, or somewhere near that, or in a part of Af Africa. So, yeah, I'm just down here branch mining, and I'm not having any luck at getting diamonds, so that's pretty sad. I just tried live streaming, and it didn't go very well, so I think I'm just going to hold me to recording videos and uploading them for now at least so okay we just had so I'm going to place this actually I noticed that a lot of the 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 names for the items is pretty close to the Danish words actually, for example, I don't know how to pronounce it exactly, but in Danish we don't have double K in the word Fagel, and that's how you spell torch in Danish, so that I'm just going to pronounce torch as Fagel. <laughs> and we are mining I will guess this is called, you know, right here we have S T E E N, and in Danish we we spell stone like without double E, so just S T E N, and I'm just going to pronounce that Steen like we do in Danish. So I guess right now we are mining steam and then we just dug some ground, 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 <laughs> and that's that's pretty close to the English word ground. I don't know if that's where the that word is from, and I'm digging this stone. Or mining this stone with a uh, wiser, yester pick, and I don't know where they got the first part. You know the iron part of the word, but it's not close to to English or Danish. But the last part is so it's close to English. So I'm going to dig this tunnel to the end and then we are going to do something else. I'm, not, I'm actually I'm actually not sure what we're going to do but here is the end then. So I, I just made the tunnel long enough so we could have, you know, um, six, six tunnels in you know along the main tunnel we have 16 branches from there and I'm going to expand that if when we have dug all those out No, here we have 16 tunnels along and then we dig out it must be a, it must be around 160 blocks because we place 10 torches and we have that 10 spacing between the torches and that must be you know 160. 
And I can see we need lighting in here, I totally forgot that. <laughs> so, I haven't done a lot since last time. I actually just collected some sand and mined out in the mine. I think they farmed a bit, but not a whole lot, so not a whole lot of new f stuff has happened, but oh yeah, what is the name of this? This is, I'm going to sleep real, real quick. Oh yeah, I saw that the, all the items, um, almost all the items in chest just temporarily, so what was the name of this? Coring? Coring? <laughs> in Danish we spell this without the I-N. No, the, without the I-N-G, so K-O-R-N. And this is also, you know, S-A-A-D. It's pretty close to seed. So this is coring, corn, corning, coring. <laughs> Sad sword. I guess I guess because the double A is make another sound. I'm, does it in English too? I'm not sure. Oh, well, this is not English, but... And then here we have a... Uh, uh, let's just say that the double A is like in... In Danish at least, where we pronounce it as... Oh, you know, we have... We, we have a uh, leather in Danish this leather right here it has the double a sound so what is it all oh, ospel ospel aspel Os yeah <laughs> roasting row rowy rowy stain <laughs> it's actually harder than I thought. Let's go and check out the some of the out items that we have in the chest over here and check out the names of that. <laughs> so we have <coughs> Verstein, Verstein, Gruz. We don't have the I in our language, so it says Gruz. <laughs> And level, le, le, level, <laughs> ru, beefs, will, be, be, beef, bliss, yeah, 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 that's <laughs> pretty easy ink sack. <laughs> bean, 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 is that how you spell bean in English? I think it is. <laughs> But in Danish we don't have double E and then it's basically the same. Wo what 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 <laughs> what? I think that V L E I S is meat because we have it here al also. Spin cup Uk Uk yeah, I think yeah. <laughs> Steam call 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 <laughs> Yeah okay. Cactus Cactus that's how I think that's how we spell it in Danish too. I'm not sure actually. So yeah. I think that one of the things that we could do this episode is to create the an XP farm from the spawn over here, so maybe we should do that. 
But now I don't have any glowstone, so we can make lamps, but we can use pistons. I guess we could go to the nether, but maybe we should do that. It's pretty hard in Africa too. <laughs> so maybe we should go to the nether. So I'm going to head over here and take my diamond pick and head down and get 10 obsidian so we can make a portal. And I guess we should also have a room or house for the portal. I'm, I've never been good at that. I often don't get onto the ladder in time. So this is usually how I collect obsidian, just placing one water and then mining the obsidian so it don't fall into the lava when I break it. I wonder what's that called what that is called, you know, obsidian. How much do we have now? We have seven I think. Eight nine and ten I think. Yeah. And what was it called? Lava glass. I think that's Lava, if I take a bucket of lava, it will say, you know, L-A-W-A, and that's, I think that's how it will spell lava, because, you know, essentially, obsidian is glass from, made from lava, I think. Let's go up and check what glass is named and I think I'm almost sure that it is named glass. No, I guess not. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so let's just make a temporarily portal somewhere. I wonder if you can hear my computer right now, it's going crazy with the fan again. I'm not sure why, but yeah, it is. <laughs> Why do I have my flint? I don't have any over here, maybe. Found it. And that's wrong, I know. <laughs> I know, I know. And then let's just make it right here, I guess. We are going to move it, because I think we will have a house here or something. Maybe build ourselves our home here. It's a pretty big spot, so... I guess that's how it's going to be. And let's just go over with some of the you know, resources and then head into the nether. Um, repair some of the picks. Pick. Oh, Anskta. Oh, Anskteka. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's. What's. I think, if I remember right, this is fire aspect and. So, ver, vua is fire and. Beskaming. That's. I think that's how you. Spell it in Danish too, that's... Or not really, it's... Beskyttelse in Danish, but we have a word spelled the same way and means some 
something like that, you know, this the scamming, I think, you know, this is protection and the scamming is like you cover something with a shield or something that, that would be to cover something that's very really scamming in Danish. I guess let's just put in this and then go in. I don't really have a bow uh, and I don't have the arrows to make enough so we can really use it. So let's just, do I have my flint and steel? Let's take that with us so we can light up the portal again <laughs> if it would be necessary. And where is it going to spawn us? I haven't looked the nether yet, so... I'm getting a bit of lag. Do we have a fortress near us? I think it's pretty dark. Maybe it's my screen, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, well, I, yeah, we have a fortress over here, I think. Yeah, down below. Let's take some of this glowstone from here. Just to create some lamps so we can turn on and off the farm if we need to. Al although I'm not going to be anywhere near the spawner right now at least it's a good distance away from the city but just to get fancy about it and it's just keep uh you know let the rest be there so until we get silk touch or something so this is glow stain stuff And this is glow steam. It's all. It's pretty close to glow. Glow, you know, G L O W. And it looks like we have a lava lake down there. So it might be. I'm not sure how good the fortress over here is to to create a wither farm, but. Yeah, it's yeah. I ge I guess it's you can't be too close to the portal because you are going to create tracks and stuff like that where mobs can spawn no matter what and yeah. So you can't really make a perimeter, you know, where you only have the spawning spaces in the farm. But now we have the glowstone, so now we can, you know, create the lamps. But f first, let's go over and check out the spawner. Maybe I should create, you know, a fancy looking thing in creative and maybe we should keep the theme of the sandstone and stuff like that and not just use cobblestone did you see that kill that was just perfect <laughs> I owned that skeleton <laughs> so let's take the mossy cobblestone first and then I think I will go into create. No, I get. I guess because we needed dark in here anyway, so no reason to to create this or make this out of something fancy.
because I usually just cover the walls completely. And no, I, I don't have to do that. I can make, you know, small windows with slabs and stuff, but we can do that later if if we want to. So, if you don't know, the way that a spawner works is that it has a range around the spawner where it can spawn monsters, um, the spawn the monster that it spawns. And that range is two of the directions from the spawner is three blocks away and the other two is four blocks. So if we press F3 and look up here at the F right here, so when it says F2, it's four blocks away, so we need to go four this way. One, two, three, four. And this is where we are going to create the wall and then if we look this way it says zero it's only going to be three blocks away so that would be here and here it says one so one two three four so two and one is where you're going to go four out and three and zero is going to be three blocks away from the spawner so let me take that out and then be back with you guys. So right now we have the basic area dug out and place some torches, <laughs> place some cobblestone um, around it so you know we have a, a frame around it so we don't you know break it or dig in here or something. So what you want to do now is to Basically, spiders can spawn on this level, this level, and this level. So we want those levels to be air blocks, and we want to dig out one more to be able to place our water. And the water is essentially going to transport the spider over to one area where we are going to crush them with a piston crusher, and then one hit kill them. And that's basically the play plan, and I want them to go this way, I think. I'm not sure yet, but I think that's the way I'm going to let them go. So I'm going to dig that out and then be back. So now we have the area there where the spiders can spawn inside and then we need the water and we are going to create, place two water sources in each corner and then dig out this area here. And with in this way we transport the spiders to one place in the wall where we are going to transport them further and then over to somewhere where we are going to be standing and then killing them as I said before and we are going to dig out this right here in here is because we are going to remove this and 
like so. And then we are going to have uh, an entrance here. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with one high. I think I, that's what I'm going to do. A uh, one high tunnel right here. Because, you know, a spider is only one block high or tall or whatever <laughs> you want to call it. I think the right word is tall. Not sure. But I'm almost sure it's tall. Let's just try and place the water here so we can see how far it goes. So I, I guess we we could make them go over here, but I've I've let's check something. I want to check how how far we are from this wall right here. So if we The spider is going to be on our foot level and head level right now. So this can be can be the floor of the of the the, the room that we're going to be inside. Then I guess we should make this wall out of sandstone make it look nicer but let's try and place some water here to check how far it's going to flow and if we create the wall here like so I would not think that it's enough so Unless we, we make this wall here and then create the room on this side right here. I think that's what we are going to do. Yeah, let's do that. So this this is where the where the wall is going to stop or the tunnel thing. Should I make this out of the Lucas numbers again? We have kind of been following that theme. Uh, these those numbers. Right now I'm just sticking this out so we can make it out of you know sandstone. Let's try and dig up here and then go over and take some sandstone wonder if it's night there it is it always is <laughs> Run, 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 run. <laughs> so, actually, this is a pretty long recording. I know I did put some speed to it in the post production, but for me, it's a pretty long right now. It's not bad, but. Is he going to hit me? I think he was. Um, no, I don't think he was. I didn't kill him, I think. So we're going to create some pickaxes. That crafting table is not my friend today. What is this called? Bone? <laughs> Bone. Kiss. We just add a T E on it. Sandstein. Mossy clip, and this is steam course. <laughs> um, what 
did I want? I wanted to take some sandstone. Let's create some more here. Like that. And then I think we should take uh, take the crafting table over there. We are going to do some redstone later. And where did that creeper go? <laughs> did you go down here? Nope, I guess not. So this is... Oh yeah, something I... Oh, I totally forgot that. I want to... We need to get the spiders six blocks away. I think it's six blocks away from from the spawner to make it work properly. I, I totally forgot that. I think I had some slaps over here. Me and my slaps. Because if we don't transport the spiders uh, far enough away from the spawner, it will not spawn any more spiders because it has the maximum maximum amount of spiders in the area around the spawner. So Oh yeah, this is not necessary right here. How far did they go? It went to the sandstone here, so... How far is this? Is this? this is... One, two, three, four, five, six, and I think w if we have them here, they are not too close. If I'm right, I'm not actually. I think it's six blocks. I'm I st I'm still not sure. <laughs> Let's just make this. And then we are going to create the floor here. And then have a room right here. I guess that's how we're going to do it. I'm. Oh, yeah, maybe we. Yeah, what we wanted is to create a wall right here. So let's follow the same theme again. Like that, that. And then make this room a bit higher so we can check out how it may be ending up looking and place the sandstone here at this wall at least. <laughs> Maybe put some creeper, creeper stones here. this and then this should be sandstone like so and we are going to extend the room further this way so we might have to 
make this some of the stone here um you know sandstone let's i think let's create the lighting for the for inside here we are going to create if i remember right holes here or lamps here i think that's how it is unless it's one further in so we have a two ball around but i'm almost sure that's the way it's going to i usually do it in but it's actually a pretty long time since i made a farm so we are going to have lamps here I'm just going to create a small room for for the wiring. Oh. This is pretty nice actually, I needed sand I think. Oh, I got the torch. And then here we are going to turn. And then we have a kind of a room we still need to enclose it of course but here we have the room for the wiring like so almost <laughs> and I think we are going to cover cover it up again so right here we have the room for the wiring we're going to run a wire from this room down here to up here and it's going to activate the lamps or deactivate them if it's not powered so I'm going to, to create four lamps and then try and see if it makes it light enough or bright enough for spiders not to spawn let's try and sort the inventory a bit first was redstone I needed and then oh yeah I don't have a craft crafting table over there anymore let's create one over here handwerk hand 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 of work work it's almost like handwerk in Danish and that means the same Then let's go over and check it out. Do I have yeah I have sticks with me so I can make a a lever. And I'm not sure how I'm going to create the entrance for the for the farm for the room that we're going to stay in. Not sure if I'm just going to create stairs or something. I guess that's cheaper. I think. <laughs> yeah, let's try and check if that's the right placement of the lamps or not. So here, I think I'm going to go over and sleep so we don't get any mobs dropping from 
above, above, <laughs> making a death from above or something. I think that's what it's called, death from above. You know, I I'm, I don't think it's from Far Cry 3, but that's where I remember it from. Far Cry, Far Cry 3. There was a perk called death from above, but I don't think it's the first time that is said. I'm going to go back again, trying to... We are going to need some... What is it called? Some... Fence? Because we need to create... S make it so that the spiders don't... Come up in the room, so we want to trap them down in the in the tunnel or the little path that they are going to be transported through the with the water. So if we we remove this, there should not be any spawns if the lamps is working properly, and I don't think there is going to be. Let's put in the water, then. Remo remove that cobblestone and then... You know... Place the fence here, so... The spider stone get up and then let's try and turn it off. And as you can see here we have spiders coming over here. Let's where is that coming from? Are you going to climb up so your friends can come over here or what? Come on. Maybe if I'm going away. I'm not sure if sure why it's not. Why you no climb? <laughs> maybe maybe we needed one higher. Maybe. Let's just use cobblestone for now. Come on, climb please. Maybe we need to get them out of the water first. Oh. Now they climb. I wonder why didn't they didn't do before. And I can hear we have some... Oh, place, place a place. Oh, oh wait, oh wait. Place a block. Try one more time and see if we get the same result. Maybe it had something to do with him attacking me. I guess not. Doesn't seem to be working. Come on. Maybe it has to be this high before it can do it. Yeah, it looks like we need to make it that high before. 
so I wonder if we place half slabs. Let's just try and see if it keeps spawning or not. Oh, that that's the biggest concern right now. It doesn't really sound like that, does it? So I don't think that they are far enough away from from the spawner. No, they are not. So we need to move them at least over here, but I'm going to move them two blocks farther away. That was my sword. <laughs> I'm going to get a new one. So what I wondered was if we could place a half slab here and then we may not have to raise the floor one block higher because they can get you know one half block higher up than if we place a fence or something like that. So what will the result be now? Maybe they can attack me now if I if it is you know half block. Yeah they can, so that's not the way that's dangerous. <laughs> that's not the way we're going to do it. doesn't look like we need it one higher maybe we do because it don't may it may only do that because of the we had the half step before but I think we just need the first one to get up and then the other one will that just glitch So let's see if it will keep spawning. I just spawned some new spiders, but I'm... Did anyone come over here? I have to not fall down there, it would be... Pretty bad. <laughs> I, I think it is far enough away because I think there's a lot of spiders here. We have 16. I can't, I can't remember exactly how far away they need to be, but 
One thing that I think I forgot was to place a block on top of the spawn, and we do that because we don't want anything to spawn on top of that, on top of the spawner because it would maybe stay there and I don't think it counts it is too much of a problem with spiders but if we did it with a zombie or a skeleton spawner we have to do that yeah I think it is fine of a way because we had a, a good amount of sp spiders here so This is the place where we have the think brain work, please. <laughs> um, where we have them collect, and then maybe have a wall here. Oh no, maybe let's have it over here so we can connect the wire. And then we're going to have a piston here, a sticky piston. So if we dig out here to create the sandstone wall, it is going to look something like this. And now let's create or make it one further in so we can remove these blocks here. I'm cheap, you know that. <laughs> I'm cheap and <laughs> like so. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Then let's create a bit of a different theme here. Maybe do that and then have it, you know, the normal sandstone here. And then have the room go this way. I think I'm going to dig out this off camera and then be back because it's a lot of digging. <laughs> so be right back. Okay, I didn't even realize that this episode will be so long, but it's around one hour or 50 minutes or something like that. So I will end the episode and then we will continue in the next so I'm I'm not sure about how I feel like posting a, an hour long episode or 15 minutes because I didn't talk about that much many uh, interesting things so yeah thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos